Okay, itam exists a good day. It is the evening of Tuesday, the 13th of June 2023, in the tail end of the lunar cycle, Opus Tsishkit Satos, the flower moon. And this evening, we have an opportunity to look inside of a very young rattlesnake and see what it is that tempted him to eat so much that I think. He probably burst his gut. He's uh, very fat in the middle, found deceased, and we're going to open him up and see what it is that he ate. Um, to my knowledge, nobody is entirely aware of what neonate prairie, ra prairie rattlesnakes here in Alberta uh, feed off of. I myself have experimented trying to feed them uh, grasshoppers because they are born in the time of Griggs when the grasshoppers and such are just very prolific prolific at the end of summer. Same kind of timing as the, uh, as the fledgling hawks out of the nest and that kind of thing. They, they have a feast of, uh, of grasshoppers. The Swansons in particular follow the grasshoppers all the way south to Costa Rica uh, getting larger and larger flocks as they go um, and winter down there eating just grasshoppers until they start their way back this way and then start eating rodents. Okay. Um, any case, I don't know if anybody knows what a, a young rattlesnake this age eats. Now this is not your average, I mean this is this is a very young rattlesnake. Let's take a close look at it here. Alright, hopefully you can see the snake all right here. And in particular I want you to look at the at the rattle. Um, I'll just hang it right in front of the lens if I can. See how that shape is? It's just a button. Which means that this is a it's a first year snake. Um, he was born last fall and so these are some of his first meals and stuff and uh, I think in this case he judged his meal um, a little bit wrong. <laughs> I put on the Rattlesnakes of Lethbridge page kind of a, not a, exactly a contest, but I challenged people to try to guess what I'm going to find when I open up the stomach. We're going to see here pretty quick. Alright, I got myself a little exacto knife here. Oh. <laughs> there we are. A little exacto knife. I'm going to cut in here and then take the scissors, open up the belly, and we're going to see what's in there. And hopefully, that little kitten or boy doesn't spill out on top of the dock. Good fellas, let's be reasonable, huh? This is not the time or the place to perform some kind of a half assed autopsy on a fish. And I am not going to stand here and see that thing cut open and see that little Kentner boy spill out all over the dock. But no, this is important information to find out what it was that this snake had to eat. I'm just curious to see what it is. I've had a lot of guesses, right? People have guessed like all different kind of small animals up to the size of kittens. A lot of cat people are concerned, of course, as always. The cat people with their toxoplasmosis you know. Um. <laughs> Hope he hasn't eaten a kitten. I don't think so unless you unless got a kitten the size of my finger. You know. Um, some people have thought about different trash. Like eat something undigestible. It's a possibility. We're going to find out pretty quick. I'm thinking it's a it's an animal but it's too big for this for this snake. Of course I'm just guessing that that's what actually killed the snake because it may not be. It may have died of some other 
injury. It was kind of uh, where I picked it up was at a residential uh, home and it was next to some yard debris and bags that looked like they may have recently been laying where the snake was discovered. Maybe it was just digesting and it got kind of crunched. That would be better in terms of, for us, for information about what it is that a, that a young snake like this would eat. That would be better to better to be the case, although I suspect this snake just ate more than its fill. Well, I'm having a hard time not already cutting the gut open here, and we're starting to see what we got going on here, right? Let's see what we got here. Because I got, I got, I'm pretty sure, back legs and a tail right here. Oh, I got, what do I got here? Yeah, there's a tail. Whoop. Get in the camera. There's a tail and a couple of back legs here. Hey, what do you think that is? Let's pull it out. It's a mouse. It's a mouse. Little mouse. Not little enough. Hey? Not little enough. But that's what it was. And yeah, like I tried, like I say, I tried neonate rattlesnakes on um, I've tried them on pinky mice, which is much smaller, only like the size of like this part, hey? And still I couldn't get them to eat the pinky mice. This one really went for it, and it went too big, unfortunately. But there we have it, end of the mystery, first year rattlesnakes. Um, are definitely attracted to at least rodents and in this case probably ate more than his fill. Um, I don't see any other injury on his body. I'm not gonna cut him all the way open. It seems to me pretty obvious that this meal was bigger than he could pass and um, I don't know if that's what killed him advertently, but probably at least inadvertently being in a bad position, stuck in the heat of the day uh, amidst yard debris where people are working and this kind of thing, too fat to move around, if not already just dead because he couldn't digest the meal. So, there we have it. Mystery solved.